Good morning, saints, and happy Monday. The verse for today is taken from Mark chapter 2, verse 17. On hearing this, Jesus said to them, It is not the healthy who need a doctor, but the sick. I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners. Jesus gives this appropriate and beautiful response to the Pharisees who were questioning the fact that Jesus was dining with tax collectors and sinners. So let me give you some background information. Jesus called Matthew formerly known as Levi, who was a tax collector, he called him to follow him. And Matthew was obedient and he left everything behind and he followed Jesus. And later on, Jesus was at Matthew's house and he was dining with other tax collectors and his disciples. And the Pharisees, who were the religious persons at that time, they viewed themselves as holy, they upheld the law. They were offended that Jesus would associate with these kinds of people. Why would Jesus defile himself in this way? And so they asked Jesus' disciples, why is Jesus doing this? And that's when Jesus said, I came for the spiritually sick, I came for sinners. And why is this good news? Well, because we are all sinners. We've all fallen short. And here Jesus is saying, I don't need persons to be perfect before they come to me. I came for the lost, the broken, and the messy. And you and I, we fit into those categories. So to those of you who are thinking, I want to be part of the body of Christ, but I need to sort myself out in this area. I need to do better. I need to, to stop doing this. No, you need to invite Jesus Christ into your heart. And when he comes into your heart, he will clean you up and he will make you whole. Now, another thing that stood out to me was the fact that we as believers, we as Christians, can be like the Pharisees. We feel that because we are saved, that we are better than the persons in the world. And we want to have nothing to do with them. But if we confine ourselves to the four walls of our church, how will the lost ever come to know Jesus Christ. We are his hands and feet. We have to spread the light of Christ into the dark areas within our communities. And so we have to interact with them and tell them about Jesus and show them the love of Jesus Christ. Now, I am not saying that you must compromise your, your walk with God, that you must you must drop your standards and start doing the things that the world is doing. Remember, Jesus ate with sinners. He did not become one of them. And so, remember that you have influence. You can encourage persons by the way that you speak, by the way that you meet them at the point of their need. You can draw them to Jesus Christ. And so, that's my challenge for you this week. Find a way to, sh to share Jesus Christ with someone who has not yet accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Remember, you are Jesus' hands and feet. Have a blessed week, everyone. Take care.